buy. But first, a home accessory known as a dough bowl looks good on the store shelves. Or you might have seen one of these long, low, hand-hewn bowl, wooden bowls in an upscale home decor catalog, perhaps. They're also found at flea markets and in hip boutiques. Each is unique, rustic, and I would say somewhat sculptural. And while you might be drawn to its look, that is often followed by the question, what do I do with it? Melanie Miner says it's a question she hears all of the time. It's so great to see you. Thanks. So a lot of us have a shallow bowl on the center of our table that yes. we put fillers or decorative orbs in. This, uh -huh. is, this is a little different than that. This is my new obsession. I love I it. a good obsession. I love these bowls. I love the patina. I love the wood and the just the warmth that it can bring to a table, to a, to a side table, anything. So I just love that that patina and the wood and the hand scrape. It's a so. finny, it's a, it's a pretty finish for sure. The yeah. name almost doesn't do it justice though, Doble. It sounds sort of petite for the kitchen. <laughs> this is big, this is a decorating statement. They do, so you can get them in all different sizes. So you can get really big ones. There's some even bigger than these that have cool different kind of handles and tops, mm -hmm. or you can go for a smaller, a smaller size. So they come in all different shapes and sizes and also like a bowl, more of a bowl shape rather than like a long. So even the dome itself mm -hmm. can vary in yeah. different sizes and yeah. shapes. Well, you're calling this the item to find this fall, particularly yes. for holiday decorating. Why yes. is that? Just because they're just fun to fill. They're easy to fill. They bring warmth, like I said. Mm -hmm. So you can fill a lot in it too, rather than just a smaller bowl on your table. You're gonna show us how to decorate and yes. design with these in our homes. First of all, if we are shopping for a dough bowl, if we are in the market <laughs> for one, what do we look for and what's the price point to consider? So to look for ones that look old. If they look too new and not, you can see, you can see that there's a, like a hand scrape in them. Uh -huh. um, you can see different patinas to them, then you know that that's the real thing. Were these originally used to make dough? Yes, so what they would do, they're, they're from Europe, and they would knead the dough, the bread dough, in here. In the dough bowl. Uh-huh, and then let them proof in, in here, and they would actually cook them in here. Okay. So, big, beautiful. Oh, can you imagine <laughs> mounds of rising dough? <laughs> be so amazing. Price point? Price point, um, they can be between 180 to, they can be up into the 300s. Oh, gold. Yeah, but they're year round. You can use these all the time. And it's a, I think it's a staple for decorating. She just gave us our husband pitch. <laughs> they're 180, <laughs> but, but you can use them all year. And you're proving that in the designs and the ensembles you brought today. Can we start yes. over here? Yeah, so just basic, just grouping a bunch of fruit. You could, you could use it as your fruit bowl. You absolutely could. Yeah. So just bringing different, um, different elements. Like you could even just put beads in it. Mm -hmm. You could put pumpkins in it at, at Halloween or, or Thanksgiving. And well, stuff you like talked that. about the patina, the finish that appeals mm -hmm. to you. Um, so in such a pretty way, it pairs so nicely with the other yes. rustic mediums that are so popular right now, like the, the metals, right? Uh -huh. and the and the that. metals and a lot of white is being used now. Yeah. So it kind of softens and softens that white and brings kind of more of a, like a, just more organic Yeah, an organic feel. texture mm -hmm. and combination. Yeah. We yeah. saw the cotton that you've placed. Yes, I love this. And I, we actually, you can put bigger things in it. These are actually crocs. They're crock pots that they used to soak cucumbers in oh. to make pickles. Yeah. So you can put crocs in them. You can use different kinds of um, glass jars. Oh, so you put a yeah. jar in the bowl. Yeah. I mean, we are layering upon layering yes. upon layering. Yep. Just fill them up. So what have you done here with kind of a fall harvest? Yeah, theme? this is kind of a fall harvest. So these came from my garden. You're kidding. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm so excited. I always feel like giving people a standing <laughs> ovation when something that cool oh, I was so and excited. that substantial. But I have so many of them. I'm like, what am I going to do with all I'll I'll tell you what you're going to do. So you're going to throw them in a dough bowl. Yep, I just threw them in a dough bowl. <laughs> and I right. have that cute cabbage patch kale. Yeah, the big. I use and, it all the time. And with two, you can use fake plants or you can use real plants. Go out in your yard. Clip some leaves off of your, some branches off of your trees. Mm -hmm. Look around your yard and think, oh, I could, I could pull this in and pull this in and put it into a dough bowl. You shot Mother Nature at that yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. Well, we talked about the different sizes and shapes. I'm really drawn to this long, yes. you know, kind of horizontally. Yes, and piece. I love these pieces for like um, sofa tables yes. to go behind a sofa. Or to fill yeah. just a big Thanksgiving table if you've yes. got a longer space yes. with guests surrounding yes. it. So how would we fill something this long? So the, the easiest way, basically start, you want to start with kind of a bigger leaf. Your chunkier green. Yeah, like a chunkier green. This is eucalyptus. 
smells it's, so heavenly. It's a silver dollar eucalyptus. So it has a yummy smell. Yeah, it does. And it, and you just are gonna put it on both sides. Okay. Just fill that in. And then layer your greens. Pull different, you don't have to do the exact same greenery all the time. Then you get different textures and different colors. That's part of the fullness yeah, and part of the part appeal. Of the, the, Awesome. I feel like I can just slip into a morning nap with that eucalyptus. <laughs> it smells so it good. It smells so good. So yeah, and you don't need a trim. You don't need to trim the ends just because they go. just lay in there. Yep. Which is nice. Could you do just green? Of, could you get away with you just, could just greenery? You could just do greenery, which I is mean, beautiful. Stark and pretty. Yep. And it's so pretty against that wood. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. And then just pulling in. I'm, I mean, I'm layering three different greenery. I love here. the idea of layering with just texture uh -huh. because it's all the same color. And you want them to kind of overlap and bring it out and let it drape against the you wood. Want some yes. Yes. And then these hydrangea I love. And they're so big and they just fill in. And you're probably so looking much. for that for a big vessel yeah, like this. You because, want a substance. Yeah, you don't want to do little teeny, like. <laughs> Take forever and cost a fortune. <laughs> exactly. So fill them in and, ah, and just I'm in play love with, with this it. Idea. And, yeah, okay. it's so fun. So if you've seen it, now you know what it's called. If it's a yes. new introduction to you, congratulations. This is the perfect decorating piece for yes. fall. Do you have any of these at two markets? Definitely, yeah, yeah. And we, they, they are, quickly leaving because I imagine. It's, it's getting going. People are like, oh, I've never seen these before. The trends I know I have up. and yeah, it's picking up. And now they really have. So now there really will be a storm at the store. Where do we find you? <laughs> We're on Main Street in Kaysville. Okay, Melanie, thank you so much. What a cool accessory.